Hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Action Comics, issue number two. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, where we last left off in issue number one, Superman is defended in the weak and the poor and the, the common everyday man. However, the government and Lex Luthor are after him, so they set up an elaborate trap involving a train, which hurt Superman enough that they could capture him. Issue number two starts off with Superman being tortured. Basically, Lex, with approval from the government, is using various different experiments and very different kind of torture to really see what makes Superman tick. Now, throughout this whole entire comic, Lex does not refer to him as a he or she, but rather an it. So he thinks Superman is an alien right away. Of course, Lex is pretty smart. Anyways, like I said, he was using various different forms of torture, you know, injecting him with uh, different kind of serums, using poisonous gas, electricity, and making him watch the Saw movies. Uh, so, anyways, Superman is able to break out of his constraints, and he finds out a little bit more about himself, as the reader learns a little bit more. He finds out that his rocket is here, the one that sent him to Earth, and also the reader gets to see how indestructible that cape is. It's indestructible. Anywho, while this is going on, Lois Lane is looking for Superman. She can piece things together, and she knows that Superman is probably being held by her father. So she goes to investigate. But what happens when the Man of Steel comes in contact with Lois Lane, star reporter. In addition to that, Lex is working with someone, but exactly who is that someone Lex is working with? Well, you guys are just going to have to read and see. In addition to what content is put into Action Comics as the story itself, there's a backup story, Batman Noel, which I thought was going to be a miniseries, but there's a backup story in this, and also extra content talking about issue number one uh, from Grant Morrison and also the artist, Rag Morales, I believe. So you get a lot of extra content in this, too. Uh, which is good because this isn't in the $2.99 uh, price bracket. This is in $3.99. So that at least put a little extra in there for you to enjoy. So let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Well, we get to learn a little bit more about Superman's beginnings, his origins. We get to learn uh, a bit about the rocket. Uh, we learn about the cape. We learn about what his powers are at what point right now in his life. Um, obviously, he can't fly, but he can use his heat vision. He can use his x-ray vision. Um, apparently, Superman is just as intelligent as he was previously. Strength, durability. We get a lot more on what his powers are. We got a lot of characters in this. For example, uh, Metallo shows up, obviously, as John Corbin. Um, uh, John Irons, uh, who is Steel, Irons, is Steel. Um, he shows up in this, not as Steel, but as one of the doctors uh, helping out Lex Luthor, who doesn't like what's going on with Lex. And obviously, a mystery twist at the end with a certain character. Uh, there's a few other characters sprinkled on top, but those are some of the major little cameos that come in. We also get quite a bit more of Lex, uh, and I'm kind of uh, lost and confused. It seems as though Lex is more of a professor and a doctor here than he is as a million dollar tycoon. Now, it's worth pointing out that Lex Luthor, through his whole entire tenures in comics from the 30s, 40s, all the way up till now, has had many different origins and occupations. Mad scientist, criminal, supervillain, um, business tycoon, uh, clone. He's been through a lot of different uh, things. He's even been president of the United States. So I guess they're going with a more traditional approach in having him be the mad scientist kind of um, supervillain. I kind of hope that they also have him be a million dollar tycoon because that evil businessman thing works so well for Lex Luthor. So we get a little bit more of Lex in this. Bad. To be completely honest, I can't really think of any bad. There's some funny moments in this, too. Uh, for ex I don't want to give away. There's a funny moment involving a goat. Anyways, 
that's going to sound wrong. But anyways, on a whole, Action Comics was pretty good. Uh, there was no faults, and this was better than issue number one. Issue number one was good. There's no denying that, but issue number two is much better. And as I said, with Grant Morrison, it's not necessarily the individual issues that make the story. It's the overall story. So where issue number one, two, or seven may be bad issues, in the grand scheme of things, it all pays off in the end. For the most part. There's been some hiccups here and there, but that's how Grant Morrison works. He's about the grandest story in the end rather than the individual chapters. So, with that said, I really enjoyed Action Comics issue number two, and I definitely give it a recommendation. With that said, I'm going to end this video here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.